Hello, this is Patrick with 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is take a look at the brand new profile ramp option provided by 1CNC XR5. Now, in this example, what we're going to do is we're going to profile the boss, and we'll use that new profile ramp option. So, I'm going to head over to the main toolbar, and underneath cam, I'll select stock toolpaths and then profile. Let's select our boss geometry there. That looks good. Now, I already have a 0.375 3 8 diameter in mil selected. Our depth of cut already looks good, but here's what's brand new within XR5. Now, here's your old uh, toolpath style. This is what we had before in the past, where if you wanted to, you could cut at different cut increments or cut levels. Let's quickly demonstrate that. My cut level is going to be 250 thousandths. I'm going to arc in and arc off. We'll let that go, and so there you can see there's the standard cut increment that we've had in the past. Now, with XR5, let's quickly edit this. We'll go back in. We take a look within XR5 now. There's a new option called ramp. All right, and that's going to allow us to profile using a ramp. There's a couple different things we can do here. Let's start with ramp angle of five degrees. We'll click next on that, fire that through, and why don't we preview this? So let's head over here to preview, and I'm going to back that up and play it again. But you can see what's happening here is we're ramping in at five degrees. We're going all the way around. And then when it gets flat, we're making a finish pass along the bottom to make that cleanup. But let me slow that down a little bit, and let's replay that. So here's our 5 degree ramp, and I'll follow this around as we cut. Okay, then it's going to flatten out, and we'll speed this up just a little bit. And then it's going to make that finish pass along the bottom, just to clean things up and then I've told it to arc off when it's finished so we've got a small little arc off and then the tool pulls up that's very nice so another thing you can do with this let's quickly edit the operation Let's move this over and we'll get to our page here there's also an option called max ramp depth I'm gonna use this I'm gonna make this 250 thousands now when you use this option this ramp angle gets ignored and what happens is the spacing between the ramps gonna be 250 thousands so we'll quickly demonstrate that Let's preview this as well. So what you're going to see now is this is going to ramp, and I'm going to speed this up. And the distance between the passes is 250 thousandths. But everything's machined at a ramp, and it still makes that nice finish pass at the bottom there. All right, very powerful, neat tool provided by 1CNC XR5. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.